Have you ever heard of making granola in the slow cooker? Well, believe me, it's possible. Over Christmas, my daughter-in-law had gotten a gift of some granola and they liked it so much that she asked her friend for the recipe. And when she got the recipe, she was so surprised to discover it had been made in a slow cooker. But then she sent me the recipe because it was also loaded with fat, lots of butter, lots of peanut butter. And she asked if I could maybe change the recipe a little bit and make it a little more healthful. So I've tried to do that and I think I've come up with something that still is very tasty and not so quite, not quite so high in fat. But you know, one of the benefits I found of making granola in the slow cooker is that you don't have to turn on the oven and not right now, we don't mind turning on the oven, but in the summer, if you wanna make granola, turning on the oven can really heat your kitchen up fast. So this might be an option. To begin with, I've already measured half cup of honey into a two cup glass measure. Then to that, I'm going to add one third cup of canola oil. Also about half cup of brown sugar. Now, I would experiment with making it just with the honey first because for some of you, it's probably plenty sweet, but others might like it a little more sweet. So that's why I add the half cup of the brown sugar, and then also just one third of a cup of peanut butter, and it just gives it such nice flavor. If your family likes peanut butter, they'll love this granola. Now at this point, I just put it into the microwave and I heat it up a little bit so that that brown sugar can just start to dissolve a little bit and the honey gets a little bit more liquefied so it's easier to stir into the oats. Now while the peanut butter mixture is heating up, you can start measuring your oats into the slow cooker. There we go, five cups of oats, I like to put in about a quarter cup of toasted coconut and I just toast it in a pan on the stove. Another quarter cup of sesame seeds and then about a quarter cup of ground flax seeds. I usually put just a tablespoon of flax seeds into my little grinder that I save just for flax seeds and spices. And it comes, once it's ground, it's about a quarter of a cup. So add that and then just give it a good stir. Now I've heated this up. The brown sugar has started to dissolve and you can see it's just real nice and liquidy, so it will be easy to stir into the oats mixture. So put this into the slow cooker, and typically, if you were making just a regular slow cooker dish, you probably would put the top on, turn it on, and go off to the office or something, leave for the day. Today, we're going to put the lid on, but we're going to put the handle of a wooden spoon in there to keep it pried open a little bit because we don't want those oats to steam. We want it to be nice and crunchy when it's done. Turn it on low, set your timer for about three hours, stir it every 30 minutes, and you'll have some nice crunchy granola. When it's done cooking, just pour it into a pan to let it cool completely, and it's delicious, and it's so easy. I hope you'll give it a try. I'm Sue Doden, and I'm all about food.